digital nomads, mainly single knowledge workers, have started relocating to beach towns, ski slopes and far off, international, exotic locations. There's been a shift from large crowded cities to the suburbs. During the pandemic, a number of countries offered incentives to attract remote workers. As their economies were mainly tourism-based, they were in dire need of revenue. Inducing knowledge workers to live and work in their country was a great way to bring in much needed revenue and taxes. Barbados, Estonia, Bermuda and Georgia have all opened their doors to Americans, inviting them to come, work, pay taxes and contribute to the economy. In an open letter from Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley, she warmly encouraged people to migrate to her country. On behalf of our beautiful island of Barbados, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. In the U.S., smaller cities and towns are attempting to attract remote workers. They are offering lucrative sign-on bonuses to help with the move. They are also leveraging good, old-fashioned amenities to draw people in. In addition to the cash, there are other reasons for people to relocate. Young adults, drowning in college debt, find themselves unable to purchase homes or start families, as they don't have the financial wherewithal. Exorbitant housing costs, coming up with a large down payment for a mortgage and holding jobs that don't pay well, along with obscene college debt, puts them in a precarious position. It's economically advantageous for them to work remotely and move to a lower cost location. Their lives could be completely different. They'll be able to purchase a nice large home at a fraction of the price it would cost in New York City or San Francisco. Baby boomers have been pushed out of the job market during the virus outbreak, a combination of ageism, being paid considerably more than their younger counterparts and the trend of relocating positions to other countries have made it difficult for the boomers to find new jobs. As home prices and the stock market both soared to record highs, it makes prudent sense to sell their homes for a substantial profit, not have to deal with $20, oh 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 in property taxes and relocate to a far less expensive town. You could see families with young children decide to leave crowded cities with high crime rates and not so great public schools and return to their hometowns, with built-in grandparent babysitters.